The way in which two video shots are joined together is called a transition. Transitions are very important. Everyone from camera operator to the editor must have a good understanding of how to make a clean and effective transition. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a dynamic and clean looking shape layer transition in After Effects. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call it actually keep it 1920 by 1080 and call it main as this is going to be our main composition. Capital M is very important for me. And for the FPS or the frame rate, I'm going to go with 60 FPS. 10 seconds should be good. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our box shape composition. And for this one, I'm going to go with 3000 by 3000 pixels. And let's rename this to shape underscore O1. Hit OK. And then I can hit Control Y to create a new solid. I'm going to keep it white for now. Just hit OK. Go into the main composition and double click on this rectangle tool. So it's going to create a rectangle just like that. Go into rectangle path one and hold alt and click on this link icon two times. So double click on this link icon. So it's going to create a perfect square. Really quick tip right there. And for the size, I'll set this to 1000 pixels. Something like that. And this is going to be our guide layer for creating the transition. So I'll just rename this to guide. And also I'll bring down the opacity a bit. Just to be a bit more precise. Now what I can do is turn on the title action save and hit control R to bring up the rulers to be even more precise. I can just bring up the guides. There we go. Make sure the guides are locked. And now I can drag in the shape one composition that we created before hit S and bring down the scale property to 16.5. There we go and turn on the snapping. I'm going to snap it right over here. It doesn't seem to be snapping. Not really sure why, but it, yep. Now it is. There we go. Let's actually see if it's properly snapped. Yep. That looks good. Hit control D to duplicate it. Hold shift and drag it. And it should snap just like that. Hit control D again, shift, hold shift and drag it like that. Make sure it snaps cause it is very important for the transition to look very clean. Hit control D again. And this is the last square zoom in and snap it just like that. Okay. Now what I can do is create a new null object. I'm going to call this ROT for rotation. And for now, I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to hide this for now. And let's go to one second and 30 frames. Select all the shape layers that we have. Hit P for the position, create a keyframe. Go back in time at the very beginning. And now I can just drag it and snap it at the corner of the rectangle or the path that we have as a reference. So same right here. Just need to zoom in a bit. So it snaps in. And there we go. I don't know why this is not snapping. Oh yeah, there we go. So now we have a pretty simple animation. Let's go to three seconds and copy the keyframes. Hit control C, control V to copy paste the same keyframes. All right. Now I can go right here at one second and 30 frames, select the rotation. First of all, we need to parent all the shapes to this rotation null. So I'm going to go and add a parent option, select all the shape layers and parent them to the null. Now I can select the null layer and hit R to bring down the rotation properties, create a keyframe, go back and set this to maybe minus 45. And then I'll go right here and set this to plus 45. All right. So we have a pretty simple animation as you can see now. 
I can scale this up. So hit S and scale this up just like that. And also I can move it wherever that I want. So let's say I'll turn off the snapping for now. And now I can move it wherever I want. I want it to be maybe somewhere on there and scale this up a bit. So hit S again. Control Shift H to hide all the layers. And now we should have something like this now it snaps in and then goes away. So that is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll just move it a bit to the right, just like that. And then we can delete the guide layer. We don't need it anymore. So now you can see we have all the keyframes right here. Now make now let's make the animation a bit more smoother. So let's select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease the keyframes. Go into the graph editor. And if your graph editor is, is not looking like this, then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph. I'll select this point and drag the handle holding shift just like that. Select this one, drag the handle to the right holding shift. And now we should have a pretty cool animation. As you can see, looks very interesting. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is let's color this up. So have I have a color palette right here. I'll provide the color palette in the free uh, project file. You can download the project file from the description. It is absolutely free. So I'll add a fill on the shape layer or the composition that we have. And then I can select any color that I want to use for this one. I'll go with a nice yellow. Select the fill, hit control C and paste it on this one, control V. For this one, I'll go with a nice blue color. Select this one, control V. For this one, I'll go with a nice pink. Control. Actually, I'm gonna hit control V. And for this one, I'll go with a nice purple. Now, right here, I don't want the square to be very like, you know, into proper position. So what I can do is hit R and rotate it a bit more. So what we can do is actually select the rotation and let's set this to 45. Okay, so we have something like that. Let's go right here and then set this to 90. So now we have a bit more interesting look as you can see. That is looking much better. All right, now let's hit A and hit U to close them up. I'm gonna select them and hit Control D to duplicate it. Bring this layers below and then give them a different color so that we can see them more properly. Select the top four layer and displace them or move forward, move them forward in time a bit. And now you don't see anything because we need to change the color. So I can go right here and select a different color as you can see. For this one, I'll select the red. For this one, I'll select the purple. And for the purple, I'll select the yellow. So now you can see we have a bit more interesting look. Very, very cool. I can do that again. So I can select this, hit control D again, bring them below, change the color, and then I can select this eight layers and displace them. Then I can select this one, go with a different, maybe purple color. For this one, I'll select a yellow color. For this one, I'll select a blue color. And for this one, I'll select a red color. So now you can see we have this very interesting look. And bam, there we go. There we have a very interesting looking transition. So it's pretty simple and easy to create. Now to add a text, it is very simple. All I need to do is select the text tool and I can type in any text that I want. I'll hide the color palette. So I'll just type in dynamic and bring that on the top. I'm using the chunk five font. You can of course use any font that you want. Increase the size a bit, place this right over here maybe. And then I can select the purple layer. So this is the purple layer and parent the text to the shape layer. So Now we have something like that. Very simple and easy to do. I can also add one more, one more text. So hit control D, I'll call this transition. 
there we go let's make this a bit smaller and place it right here and there you go there we have our nice dynamic transition shape transitions which you can use with some amazing motion graphic animation to give it a very cool look and feel so yeah that was a pretty short and simple tutorial i hope this helps you also make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative peace out